to mind when you think of the word bliss? A break from work, a daily mm. massage, no kids? Well, today someone in our studio audience gets all that and more when they win a trip <gasps> to the Bliss <laughs> Sanctuary in Bali. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Not, I'm afraid. Oh. We'd love uh, to have you there, though. We'd love to come. <laughs> Founder of Bliss Sanctuary for Women is Zoe Watson. Welcome to the show, Thank Zoe. Thank you very much. You've got such a fascinating story. You basically threw in the towel on your regular working life. Yes. And replaced it with a caftan. Yes, I did. I did. What, what was it that pushed you to that point? Well, like a lot of women, I think that I had way too much on my plate. I had too many things going on and I needed a break. Mm -hmm. um, I'd gotten a little bit sick from a car accident a few years before. I had, you know, a job in media and my career was going really well. But then when I needed some time out, I couldn't find anything just for women where I could just rest and relax without having to be on a retreat or anything like so that. So your, your sanctuary that you've created, Bliss Sanctuary that you've created in Indonesia, that's yep. women only, isn't it? It is. No kids, no men. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it, does sound, it does sound like yes, bliss, doesn't it? It is. Blissful. So it is, what it's do you lovely. do? What, what if we come along? Okay. What's involved? Well, it's really hard work because you get 90 minutes of massage every day. Oh. <laughs> you get all of your meals included. Uh, you get unlimited yoga for anyone that would like to do yoga. You can go as many times as you like. Oh. We're just around the corner from the beach and it's just all about rest and relaxation oh, and yay. anything else you'd like to and, do. And there's oh. coffee, there's there drink, is. there's We've no detoxing. We've got chocolate in the fridge, oh. yeah. So, so is booze. Oh, yes, yes. I'm you bring there. as much of that in as you like. Oh, no, sorry, yeah, the no you can look yeah, over. Exactly. Like, Keep forgetting that. We'll bring some out for you. And it's a really <laughs> wonderful way as well because I think some women um, travelling alone can be quite a daunting Definitely. thing. And this yeah. is a way of doing that and still feeling safe. Definitely. And nurtured. You know, it's just a place with a lot of kindness and other women that are there for the same reasons. So it's really easy just to relax and be taken care of for once. And have you got plans to expand? Yes. I've got quite a few of those. <gasps> yeah, too. Well, there's been talk about Europe and other Asian countries and, yeah, maybe franchising it. So there's a lot going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> and how long does it take, do you find, for people just to unwind and let go of all the stresses and drama? Well, it's really funny because initially when people come in, it's like, oh, a little bit stressed mm. out. And then after three massages, so three days, it goes to... Oh, relaxation oh. and then you're just on a different beat to a different drum and it's fantastic. So seven days is a really good time for that and a lot of women like to come and stay for ten as well. And so you're so right, so many women put themselves last. I think in the 70s it was yep. called the lamb chop phenomenon where you oh. give the biggest lamb mm. chop to dad, the next two best ones to the kids and have the small burnt one for yourself. Yeah, yeah. That Women are days. always putting, <laughs> always putting other people before mm. themselves. So. Thanks to Zoe to celebrate our birthday and yeah. Christmas and all the wonderful women in our audience. We asked everyone here today to tell us why they need a blissful break in their life. And we have a winner. <gasps> Julia, Juliana Vandenberg. Thank you. Yeah. Can I give her a hug? Yeah, have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Um, what did you think? She is one oh, of our great. regulars who comes in. She's a beautiful woman. Thank you. You're about to cry. Oh. Like Why did you need a break so much? Yeah. Why do you need one? Well, I just moved. Um, I'm from Australia, but I, I moved to America for 20 years and I just came back a year ago. It's just been really stressful adjusting again. Yeah. Mm. And, um, and you've got your daughters living back with you, haven't <laughs> well, you? Well, <laughs> my two daughters who were born in America, they've moved back here. And ah. um, they've moved back home and it's just been very stressful because they're adjusting and... It's a shame they're not boys because then you could leave them behind. <laughs> my husband travels a lot and he's away in America at the moment for business, so I'm home a lot. Oh, oh, yeah. Think of yeah. the massage. Think of the massage. Yeah, you yeah. Really I've never been to Bali. Yeah. Well, you, uh, you've just won oh, yourself great. return flights to Bali plus a week of staying at the Bliss Sanctuary for Women with healing <laughs> sessions, daily <laughs> massages and spa oh, treatments, oh. yoga, yeah. so oh. much more. Yeah. Congratulations, darling. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you must send us a postcard and Zoe, thank you very much for coming on the show. Definitely. It's a beautiful, beautiful thank gift. Yeah, thank you. Wow. It's all to come on Studio 10, Craig Bennett on why the Rolling Stones are cancelling some of their Australian shows again. You're watching Studio 10.